Thanks for joining us. This is Amhara Media Corporation, Amhara TV, and you're watching our daily news live from the studio. I'm Gaila Damu. Stay with us. It is disclosed that the youth must be prepared to make sacrifices in order to be part of brilliant history that will be written after the country overcome the present challenges. Fakar Dizaudu reports. It is stated that the youth should be part of the history that Ethiopia is going to write by passing through the challenges the country is facing right now. A discussion prepared by Ethiopian press agency was the motto of Zamach Watat Menenga Youth, who accepts and responds to a national call, kicked off yesterday in Addis Ababa. On the discussion, Social Affairs Advisor of the Prime Minister, Diakon Daniel Kavret, stated that Ethiopia always wins all the wars it encountered noting that all the challenges will pass but Ethiopia stays the same. Appreciating the patriotism of the forefathers, he condemned the bandas who are working against their own country. People will talk about this time after a while. There will be books written about now. Movies will be made. Songs will be written like what we are hearing about Balcha. So we should think about the things said after 40 to 50 years about us. You will be asked by your sons and grandsons, then what could be your answer? Are you going to say we were just there and do nothing and live before your children in disgrace and humiliation and teach your children to do the same? Or are you going to make history that melts the heart of your children? with pride and courage. Dagon Daniel also added that the youth should prepare to make sacrification to write a better history which transcends through generation. If we want to tell our history to our children, in pride, holding our head high. If we want to say, because of me, Ethiopia is a sovereign country. If we want to say, I contribute for my country's future. If we want our pictures taken and hung on the living room. If we want to post our pictures on Facebook, we should be ready to pay the price now. <laughs> National Defense Force Public Relations Director Colonel Getnet Adana on his part noted that there should be readiness in discharging one's responsibility so as to maintain the country's sovereignty. The first thing of being young is being active than being organized like you. But being active and organized is not enough. We have to set a goal that we can work toward this too. So, in our case, for our motherland to protect Ethiopia, we will be active, organized and trained. Then, we will implement what we are trained for. There should also be a way of measuring or monitoring what we are doing. Democracy Building Center facilitator Dr. Bikila Huresa on his part stated the deeds of the terrorist TPLF in order to dismantle Ethiopia. In the process of bringing equality and freedom, our forefathers paid a lot of price and getting the chance of being a part of this is a blessing. So, I want to tell you to take your blessings and use it to contribute your part to your country's peace and sovereignty. The only thing expected from you is saying, I am part of this call and work toward this that. A petition campaign exposing the terrorist TPLF's activities in Amhara region has started in Bahadar. Abba Brahani tells us more.
It is stated that 500,000 people in the community have participated in the petition campaign. It is pointed out that the aim of the movement is to join and support the petition campaign, which is held at a national level under the motto, The White Post for the White House. Head of Amara Prosperity Party Office, Abraham al at the opening program of the movement stated that the terroristic acts of TPLF has resulted wide range of human and material crisis in Amhara and Afan region. Abraham explained that the terrorist group massacred many civilians, destroyed the property of the people and raped women and children. As to the explanation of Abraham, the Junta group has shown its state of being terrorist by massacring many civilians in Maikadra, Agamsa and China of Amahara region and Galikoma of Afa region. Abraham added that, had not the terrorist group driven away from the areas where it conquered, it would have resulted much more human and material crisis on the people. Noting that many people have been displaced and many are starved, Abraham pointed out that the socio-economic and political activity of the region is facing a big threat, adding that the blind eye and deaf ears of the international community and media for the provocative acts of TPLF is very saddening. Especially, unbalanced information disseminated by the international media are misleading the international community and aggravating the problem. Abraham also stated that, apart from the Twitter campaign, the national movement entitled The White Post for the White House is a good way to show the atrocities of TPLF to the international community. American Chamro Hulum Hulum Yadogu Yevelitsogu Agaroch Aunial Len Button Navaro in Nahalina Huneta Including America we need all developed countries to understand the current circumstance in which we are. It is our people who have been conquered, being massacred, raped and displaced. Our people have been experiencing lots of atrocities and misery. People who should have gained medicine have been deprived of their right to get medicine. The right to live has visibly been violated. We need the international community, especially developed countries, to understand this fact. Abraham called on users of the region and all the community to join the petition campaign and contribute their part to be voice for civilians being attacked by the terrorist group TPLF. As we are hopeful that, including Joe Biden, higher government officials will understand our problems, we have officially started this campaign today. Therefore, all people of Amhara region, including political elites, religious fathers and businessmen should join this campaign to be a voice for civilians being attacked by the terrorist group TPLF. Head of Office of Amhara Youth League in the Amhara Prosperity Party, Gashaw Tekeba, on his part said that, in the movement, it is expected that more than 5 million signatures will be collected and sent to the government of America. Gashaw stated that petition centers have been established at Zonal, Warada and Kabali level so as to make it accessible to all areas. He also urged scholars and other members of the society to join the movement. It is known that the petition campaign to be held in Amhara region will stay for about 10 days. The terrorist group has been massacring civilians and destroying properties, especially in Amhara and Afa region. Civilians were killed. Women and children were raped and large amounts of wells were destroyed. Therefore, the petition campaign in which more than 5 million people are expected to participate at a national level will be started today. In this campaign, about 500,000 people of Amhara region will participate and the collected signature will be sent to the government of America, White House. <laughs> 
ወደ ነጩ ቤተ መንግስት የመላክ ንቅናቄ ዛሬና አስጀምራለን ማለት ነው። Horizon Addis Tire and Halasa branch of the Ethiopian Pharmaceutical Supply Agency have won Kaizen Award in Africa. Brown work and has the details. Ethiopian Kaizen Institute and the winners of Kaizen Award in Africa have given communique regarding the award. Ethiopian Pharmaceutical Supply Agency, Hawasa Branch and Horizon Addis Tire have won the competition representing Ethiopia by implementing Kaizen philosophy in their respective institutions. Hawasa Branch manager of Pharmaceutical Supply Agency Zamanul Gassa said before the implementation of Kaizen philosophy in their institution there was huge mismanagement of the resource and low customer satisfaction. ከተግባራው በፊት የኛ የብክነተ መጠን 2.6% ነው የነበረው there was 2.6% wastage rate in our institution before the implementation of kaizen philosophy there is a criteria set according to world health organization which says the wastage rate of medicine must be below 1% therefore when we look our institution it was 2.6% on the other hand there was low customer and worker satisfaction in our institution especially there was great complaint in terms of creating good working environment in the institution betale michu yesira kawe kemafter anzar betam keftenya yone qireta no yenebaro general manager and representative of the management of horizon addis tire david demelle on his past said the kaizen philosophy has played great role to change working culture of their institution first phase kaizen endemtaqut amistu maoch metegber no as you know the first phase kaizen philosophy is implementing the 5ms by doing so our company has benefited a lot for instance it has given a lesson on how to organize personally in our home and in our company previously there were many materials thrown here and there and that we are not giving service zim mizam tezebararqo yeneberu menalbat tekem maysetu gin yetekemetu qawoch neber general manager and representative of the management of horizon addis tire david demelle stated that the implementation of kaizen philosophy in their institution has made the company workers successful in their work hinnin amist ma bemetergo betegbara bemadreg we have benefited a lot implementing the 5ms in our company for instance we have got 3800 square meter of free space in our compound implementing the kaizen philosophy in our institution therefore this free space has played great role to move freely and work without accident in our institution madrak astilona bezi hulet amet tekul bicha 107 million bir bala yem only within two and a half years an estimated amount of 107 million bill of medical equipments are dispersed and generally over 34000 customers have got service from this because of the implementation of kaizen philosophy it has also enhanced the productivity in our institution for instance before the implementation of kaizen to find and get one medicine from warehouse it takes 6 minutes After the implementation of the Kaizen philosophy the time is reduced from 6 minute to 1 minute similarly as i told you before the wastage rate is also reduced from 2.6% to 1.1% kolet netab 6% wod 1.1% zik bulo allahun director of ethiopian kaizen institute asnaqa gudina said the implementation of kaizen philosophy has tremendous role for quality and productivity of companies the director also stated that lack of committed leadership and inconsistency of working culture are some of challenges in the implementation process of kaizen philosophy in ethiopia as to asnaqa the implementation of kaizen philosophy in institutions and companies will ensure the prosperity of the country ya africa kaizen award Uh, one alama the main aim of african kaizen award is to give award for institutions and companies implementing kaizen philosophy improving quality productivity and bringing significant change in their respective institutions and companies therefore we believe that the implementation of kaizen philosophy in institutions and companies will have significant role to ensure prosperity of the nation kaftenya mina 
እንደምንኖረው እናምናለን Deputy Chief of the Southern Nations, National Lurice and People's Region, Rustu Yirdaw said, as long as the TPLF terrorist group is no longer a threat to Ethiopia, all round support for the survival campaign will be strengthened. Brown work and has more. A delegation led by Deputy Chief of Southern Nations, National Lurice and People's Region, Rustu Yirdaw has supported 25 million birth and other aides in kind to the survival campaign so as to destroy the terrorist TPLF group. On the occasion, Rustu stated, even though the terrorist TPLF has invaded neighboring Amhara and Afar regions, the main objective of the group is dismantling Ethiopia. He further stated that the terrorist TPLF group is an enemy to all people of the nation. Deputy Chief of Southern Nations, Nationalists and People's Region confirmed that the government and the people of Southern Nations, Nationalists and People's Region will continue its holistic support till the terrorist TPLF destroyed completely. He further stated that the people of Southern Nations, Nationalists and People are supporting to the National Defense Force members and other security bodies to fight the terrorist TPLF group who displaced thousands of people from their locality. According to us, 8,000 liters of edible oil 800 quintals of flour and 1,500 blankets is supported to the displaced people because of TPLF in Amhara region. The soldiers of a group who does not hope good thing to the people, killer and looter, which has deviant humanity has been damaging the people for the last years. Therefore, this group practically has weakened our development. So, I want to assure you that we are ready and committed to destroy the terrorist TPLF group. Deputy Chief of the Amhara region, Agenyo Teshagar, on his past said, in the areas where the terrorist TPLF group took control, over half a million people are displaced and facing many problems in the region. He said, apart from displacing and killing civilian communities, the group has looted and destroyed health centers and schools in the areas where the group controlled for some days. Agenyo on the occasion stated, the war will continue till the terrorist TPLF leave the area and completely destroyed. Finally, Agenyo acknowledged the support given by the Southern Nations, Nationals and People's Region in fight of the terrorist TPLF group and requested the Southern Nations, Nationals and People's Region to support till the displaced people rehabilitated permanently. <laughs> The people of Amhara and Southern Nations, Nationals and people are brotherly people. The people of Amhara are living in all zones of Southern Nations, Nationals and people. And also we believe that the Southern Nations, Nationals and peoples are living in all parts of Amhara region. The Southern Nations, Nationals and people does not request where you came from. It is impossible to celebrate whatever kind of holiday unless the terrorist TPLF group completely destroyed in our country. By now, over half a million people are displaced from their locality due to the terrorist TPLF group. <laughs> On the occasion, senior government officials of the two regions, religious fathers and students of Southern Nations, Nationals and People's Region, who are attending their education in Bahadar University, have participated on the program. You're watching Amhara Media Corporation, Amhara TV News, and now let's take a look at the foreign exchange rate and carat rate. That's all the news we have for today. I'm Gaila Damu. Many thanks for watching. Stay safe and have a great time.